Tulsa police officer was injured today in an altercation during a protest outside the federal courthouse in downtown Tulsa. Tune is Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada joining us now from outside the courthouse with details on what happened. Jeanette? Well, Karen, it's a much different scene right now er, than it was earlier today. Police cars surrounded the federal courthouse after an officer called for assistance during the American Indian Movement protest. Police say the officer was asking protesters not to park their cars in front of the courthouse when the situation escalated. According to the video, protesters approached the officer's car and he closed his window. As they continued to protest around his car, he eventually got out and at at some point, the officer was knocked to the ground. Members of the American Indian Movement tell me they were gathered outside the courthouse protesting the imprisonment of Leonard Peltier, a Native American activist who had been in prison for nearly 50 years. They say they were ex exercising their right of freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. I seen some shoving going back on. The officer started backing up and during the altercation fell down backwards and, uh, you know, the person he had tried to assault was then wrestling with him. It's completely legal to demonstrate. It's not legal to demonstrate and violate someone else's rights. So if you want to express your First Amendment rights, that's great, but you can't stop traffic to do so. Now, the officer did call for backup and witnesses say that he did get injured. Now, police tell me that he is expected to recover and they also tell me that they made two arrests. Live in Tulsa, Janet Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.